Hi, this is Vladan from SX Vectorization Blog. In this video, we will be creating Vima Backup and Replication Recovery Media. So this is my laptop where I installed remotely Vim Agent for Windows. And I need to create a recovery media because on this recovery media, I will have the drivers from this computer as well. So when the computer gets corrupted by some ransomware, I can plug in the USB stick with the Vim recovery media uh, recovery agents and I'll be able to recover this computer. So as you could see, we choose the USB stick as a destination and the system will format the recovery stick and put all the files necessary to boot the computer. Now I'm booting the computer with the recovery stick already created and uh, we will arrive in a screen where I can choose bare metal recovery. Bare metal recovery it means I can recover PC with all the disks or only with the only recover the system disks I mean replace the current content with the backup so choose a Vim backup repository with an IP address of our Vim server username and password so I must check the IP address, the IP config on the remote system and uh, I always create student as a user which I put into the local administrator um, group so it connects to the Vim backup server it proposed me the different recovery points different backups, I choose there is only one of them and I choose to restore system volumes only. In my case, it's enough. If you need to restore all computer, you restore all computer. So it will take some time. Again, I have accelerated the video, so we do not have to wait all this time. What's important to know is the username and password of the Vim backup server. And once you connect it, it allows you to choose from the different backups you have there and the recovery points as well. If you haven't seen the first video, just watch the first video first and then you'll know more. So we finished the restore process and we can boot the system to check whether it restored the system correctly. Then some changes to the background on the system. So when we restore, we just gonna see the default backup screen so we can see it. it's different from the restore point what we had. Okay, let's check if we also find the, the backup file we tested in the first video to see if this is the same system and this is it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.